What's up guys? I'm Josh, this is Toast, and today we're going to talk all about crested geckos. Alright guys, so if you do know something about reptiles, then you've probably already figured out that Toast here, he is not a crested gecko. This is a crested gecko. And this is my pet crested gecko. His name is Timmy Tingles. Uh, I'll explain to you his name in, in a little bit. But I don't have him currently with me because crested geckos are super en energetic. They love to run around and they're really fun to handle, but not while filming a video. So Toast will uh, keep me company right now. So crested geckos, when were they first discovered? Well, they were first officially described in 1866 but they were then thought to go extinct. Researchers couldn't find them and they had just assumed that um, the last one had died off and so they were written off as extinct. Well, interestingly enough, in 1994, they were rediscovered and they've become one of the most popular pet lizards, pet geckos in the world. So that's a pretty amazing comeback. Now, crested geckos have so many cool features that I think it's best if we just go from head to tail and I'm um, go over everything. So here we go. Let's start with their mouth. What do they eat? Well, crested geckos, unlike pretty much every other gecko, uh, they eat just fruit. They can eat insects. In fact, if they're breeding, um, they need more protein. And so that's a good time to introduce insects. Not a whole lot though, but what I feed Timmy is I feed him a Rapashi or Pangea Crested Gecko diet, and it's literally just a fruit smoothie. If you wanted to, you could eat it too. And that's a huge draw for a lot of people because people really don't like feeding insects or rats or mice to reptiles. So this is a reptile, you literally just feed fruit, which is awesome. Now with the same tongue that they use to lick up their fruit paste to eat it, they also use to clean their eyes because crested geckos do not have movable eyelids. Leopard geckos, just like my leopard gecko Bill, do have movable eyelids, and you'll see him when he sleeps, he'll close his eyes, and, and it's really cute, but crested geckos do not. And it, even when they sleep, you can still see their eyes, so it's sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if your crested gecko is sleeping or not, but they do have transparent scales over their eyes to protect their eyes. So instead of having movable eyelids, they have a transparent shield over them. Another fascinating feature about the eyes is the crest on the head, which, hence the name, crested gecko. They're also known as the eyelash gecko because that crest has fringes that come off and it looks just like eyelashes. So that's why it's called the crested gecko or the eyelash gecko. It's because of that really cool crest on the top of its head. Another amazing feature of crested geckos is their skin and more specifically their coloration. So crested geckos, like many other geckos, um, especially the ones from New Caledonia, they can fire up or they can fire down. So different situations, crested geckos will actually fire up, which means their colors become more vibrant and darken, or they'll fire down and they become a little bit more bland. And this can be from a variety of things, whether they get excited or um, if they're just in a dark place or if they get cold or warm. There's, a, there's so many different things that can affect that, but it's really neat to see um, just how much their color can change within a matter of minutes. Now we've worked our way all the way down to the feet, which is perhaps one of the most famous parts of a gecko. So their feet have the stereotypical gecko sticky toe pads. Now, why do I say stereotypical? Well, there are plenty of geckos that actually don't have these sticky toe pads. For example, my African fat-tailed gecko has claws because they're terrestrial and they don't need to climb up walls or trees or anything like that. Um, my leopard gecko, Bill, he does not have um, the sticky toe pads. He has claws as well. So there are plenty of geckos that don't have these awesome toe pads, but the ones that do, it's amazing. So these toe pads, they don't have any sticky goop and it's not like plungers. What it actually is is they have hundreds if not thousands of, of these microscopic hair-like things that are called sede, I believe is the plural. I know individually they're called seda, but basically 
these microscopic little hairs, they use what are called van der Waal forces, which basically means that they use electrostaticity to stick to things. So kind of similar to how if you rub a balloon on your shirt and the electrostatic forces allow it to stick to your head or to different objects, um, it's kind of the same deal, except geckos can turn it off and on. And because there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, they can, they can hold their body weight, which is really awesome. The other cool thing about these toes is that they're double jointed. So when a crested gecko gets ready to jump, you'll see them lift up their toes and they curl backwards. And it's really cool to watch. And that allows them to jump without having to worry about sticking to stuff. And not only do they have sede on their toes, they also have it on the tip of their tail. So their tail is a prehensile tail, which is pretty cool. They'll use it to grab onto things and to keep them steady. And if you're holding them, they'll wrap it around your finger. And you can feel on the end of their tail, it also has uh, the sede, which allows it to grip on really tight. It's a really cool feeling. If you've never held a crested gecko, um, you have to, it, it's awesome. That's what, that's actually why my crested gecko is named Timmy Tingles, because you get this little tingling sensation from the little electrostatic forces. The other neat thing about their tail is that they can actually drop it. Just like pretty much every other gecko, they can drop their tail. And so if a predator grabs their tail, um, or if they get scared, they can drop it. Now, unlike leopard geckos or African fat tails that store nutrients in their tails, Crested geckos, the only purpose that their tail really serves is to help them balance, help them grip to things. So while it is important to them, it's not vital. If a leopard gecko loses its tail, it starts regrowing it back immediately because that's where it stores all of its nutrients. However, a crested gecko will never grow back its tail. And there's actually a name for these kinds of crested geckos, and it's called a frog butt because they have cute little butts that look like frogs a frog's butt, hence the name. And if that this happens to your crested gecko, don't worry. If you go out into the wild, I probably guarantee you that every single crested gecko you find would not have a tail. They can even drop it from lightning strikes. Um, just loud noises, anything that scares them. So it's just a natural defense and it's pretty effective. As you've learned, crested geckos are amazing creatures and they have tons of different features that are really just fascinating. So if you learned anything new, um, let me know down below. What did you learn that you didn't know before? Um, and what was your favorite fact? And if you did watch all the way through, feel free to like the video and subscribe to keep up to date with more content.